Hello, great people of the earth. So, what I'm going to be doing today is showing you how to get a custom Xbox One gamer picture. So, this is what I used to record, but I accidentally just blanked out and pulled that up, so it doesn't really matter. But, uh, first you want to go to the store. So, I think you could do this on Windows 8, but it has to be Windows 8 or 10. I don't know if you can do it on Windows 8, though. But if you cannot do it, and you don't have a computer, then don't worry, because you could just private message me on Facebook, and I could do it for you. I've already done it for a ton of people. But, uh, let's see. What you want to do is search up Xbox Beta. And people have asked me in the past if this app gives you viruses, but no, it doesn't. It's virus-free, because it's from Microsoft, directly from them, no viruses. So what you want to do is just download Xbox Beta, and once you do that, you just want to sign in and everything, and you could go search the web for any picture that you want, like literally any picture you want. But once you find the picture, you just have to make sure that you change it to the correct size. So I'm just going to open up one of my previous files. So it has to be 1080 by 1080, and if you're using paint.net, you just press resize. But if you want to do something else, resize the canvas so that you could see, like, more of the photo instead of cutting out the photo and making the pixel, or not the pixel, making the photo more bunched in. So if you have a larger picture, I recommend changing the canvas size to 1080 by 1080 instead of resizing it. But if you just have any picture, then just resize it. So once you've gotten your image to 1080 by 1080 and you've saved it, go on to Xbox Beta, and it froze, okay. Let's go Xbox Beta. Okay, now he's got to wait for everything to load. You see, I already have a custom gamer picture on this account that I'm doing it on, but... Uh, I will just quickly switch the picture to something else. So let's customize, and once you've pressed customize, just wait for it to completely load. Press edit, and you will see choose a custom picture, so you could obviously pick any of those, but I don't really like any of those, they're all ass cheeks. Oh. No, please don't do this. Uh, yeah, no. I hate it when it does this. Uh, oh. Okay. Now that that's done with, choose a custom picture. And select any picture you want that is 1080 by 1080. So, what we could do is choose this one. And then just, it says you could zoom, but I guess they screwed something up because you can't zoom at all. Or at least maybe because my photo is 1080 and 1080 is the lowest resolution. I don't know. So you could just reposition, but press the next button. And once you've done that, it'll just tell you that you have to stick to the Xbox Live code, code of conduct. So no nudity and nothing that offends people. So I don't know if you could make yourself have a swastika as your picture but probably so you just press upload and once you uh press the upload it's gonna give you this message you'll see your updated picture once we verify that it's okay so it's gotta verify that it has no nudity or anything offensive so that usually takes about five to ten minutes currently but they'll probably have more people verifying it in the future so and I'll probably always stick near that at time, so I'm just gonna, well, if you didn't see it change, so let's press save, and once you press save, it's gonna change, but it'll take about five to ten minutes for anybody else to be able to see it. So I'm just gonna change it back, because I already have that picture on one of my profiles. And, yeah, that's pretty much all you have to do, it's pretty simple. You don't have to do any editing. 
You don't have to download anything other than Xbox 